speaking to what Sretsko Horvat was saying before about the geopolitics, we would not be able to solve the geopolitical equation that leads to refugees uh, streaming all over the world if we maintain the Cold War alliance with the United States that is firstly, besides the point now, the Cold War is finished, and we have the relic of the Cold War, which is trying to find, constantly to find, reasons for perpetuating its existence. <laughs> and at this point, I want to draw everyone's attention to a delicious paradox. A terrible paradox, but it would be delicious if it was not so toxic. It is this. Let me take you back to 2015, when our government was elected to oppose the Troika of lenders, to oppose austerity, to reboot Europe by ending the toxic bailouts, the extend and pretend loans, which were coming to us, to the whole periphery of Europe, attached with austerian strings that furthered the deflation, and in the end came back to Austria and to Germany in the form of negative interest rates that as Volkan Schäuble correctly said, is inflaming the forces of reaction of the IFD, of uh, ultranationalism, and so on and so forth. During that period, what was the position of the United States of America? What was the position of the administration? When we were elected, let me remind you, President Obama came out with a very good statement. He said, I don't know whether this is verbatim, but the essence of what he said was that the principle of the greatest austerity for the most bankrupt nation, he meant Greece, needs to be rethought. Well, that's what we were saying. Yeah? So what did Europe respond to that? Get off our territory. We are not going to be lectured by the United States of America. Which is, yeah, just hold this for a moment. But when it comes to foreign policy, it's NATO, and it's whatever the United States administration says, except that the United States administration is confused, in the, uh, and, and they're fighting each other. So the State Department has a different policy in the Ukraine than uh, the Pentagon. Uh, the Pentagon has a different policy to the CIA. Um, you have the same um, country sponsoring different terrorist organizations, different resistance groups, and different political forces throughout the world. Yeah? So, the only conflict is between different agencies of the United States. Europe is waiting for the line, the party line, as if we were you know, in a communist party. Uh, and the, the Washington line, once Washington decides what it is, is simply regurgitated, recapitulated, repeated. So, compare and contrast. We have a unique capacity in Europe to import only the bad things from America. So, the New Deal, the idea that austerity must end in the periphery of Europe is rejected with contempt by Europeans wishing to insert their own independence from the United States. Huh? The good things are rejected. All the terrible things that come from the United States immediately will up them up. And I think that in this paradox you understand the, um, how advanced a stage of disintegration we labor under here in Europe.